how is everyone doing? I'm your Gibbs, and we, I have a special for you. We're going to play a bit of a classic for Frictional Games. This is probably the game that got them started. It's Penumbra Overture. I um, It's been on my list. I know I've been playing a lot of Amnesia. I'm really enjoying that game a lot. I've played a couple different maps there, custom maps as well. So. I thought, you know what? I need to go back and find out where this all began. So that's what I'm going to do. Please enjoy and let me know the good, the bad, and the ugly as we both journey on Penumbra Overture. Thanks, everyone. Let's get into this. For my part in this allegory, I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. I would vanish from my mother's life before I was even in it. So when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard from him. Pity he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago, and so the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever taken. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realized my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day. And I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12 hour journey that would lead me into my past. How's everyone doing? I'm your Gibbs, and we're playing the number on Overture. And I am excited to get into this. This is a game that was done by the same folks that did Amnesia. And as you know, I truly enjoyed Amnesia. So I thought, you know what? Maybe I should just go back to the beginning and see the game that started it all. So here I am. This is a penumbrum. Uh, my style will be the same as it has been for other Let's Plays. My videos will range 15 to 20 minutes or so. And I am going to get scared a lot. So let's get into this. Let's grab my what looks like a journal. Um, there we go. <laughs> Got to get used to the controls. It's all good. Nice pretty map. I think we said we were in Greenland in the cutscene there at the start. Uh, I'm certain this map's a good decade or so out of date, but landmarks don't change much in Greenland. So I've got a pretty decent idea of where I'm heading. Now, can I drink the whiskey here? Because everyone likes a good bottle of whiskey. Oh, it's empty. Bastards. Goddamn trolling me with the empty whiskey bottle. Uh, yeah, so this game, if you haven't, f are you not familiar with the frictional game style? There's a lot of physics and, and a lot of opening of uh, drawers, a lot of grabbing stuff. Ooh, I get a flashlight. Now, where's that emergency glow stick? Okay, so we're going to have two light sources in this game. That's pretty cool. Um, well, we can grab it, but we can't drink it. 
Damn, we broke it. <laughs> Alright, let's grab it up the little note that's in here. Perhaps I should leave the fishing in some privacy? Alright, so here we go. Dearest Eric, just a quick note before you set sail and leave me once again. So I'm not going to actually read these notes. You guys can pause the video and read them for yourself. Fisherman's Wife Love Letter. Alright, so this is very similar to Amnesia. So I think the, the big difference with this game is it's a bit more of a modern feel. Um, hence the flashlight and glow stick. And also I do, from what I understand, I do understand, do feel that there is a little a little bit more, um, a little bit more combat, uh, I think you actually get melee weapons and stuff. Uh, do I have a key? Where the hell's my... Oh, maybe I've got it in my inventory, I don't know. Oh yeah, shit, look at that, key. There we go. Oh, <laughs> goddamn bag, get out of my way. I'm assuming that's a sneaky bag. Hey, there's my glow stick. No, 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 Dora, get back over there. Stay there, stay there. Ooh, I've got pictures. Oh, God, I keep... Come on, the door's gonna shut. I need some batteries, I got them right there. Some extra batteries to power my flashlight. Ooh, that actually freaked me out. Uh, so I'm assuming that... Uh, yes, there we go. So it's very similar to what it was before. These are your quick slots up top here. I've got a glow stick, which I'm assuming doesn't need batteries. And then I've got my flashlight that needs batteries, similar to how Amnesia needed oil. So let's get into it. Do I need my coat too? Number one. No, I guess not. Take a nap. Pretty odorous. Glad I'm getting out of here soon. Alright, let's get into it. Uh, I'm, again, I'm not sure if you see the cutscenes here in between loading screens because I know there was an issue in the past with Amnesia not showing the loading screens properly. So it looks like we're in the winter, that's for sure. My entire head went numb a long time ago, but I can still hear the wind roaring past. Well, YouTube's going to have a great time with this white video. I wonder how dark they're going to make it. <laughs> won't need to uh, make this <laughs> lighter. I hope not. Yeah, what, what in the hell? I don't care. I need shelter. It looks frozen shut. Uh, can we break it somehow? Frozen. Must break the ice. Um, is there something in my inventory? Throw a lock at it? No. Uh, by the way, this is a blind playthrough. I've never played this before. So it may take a bit longer to solve puzzles then. Uh, hopefully you kind of enjoy the... I don't want to say clumsiness, but the raw nature of these videos. And that they do have me trying to solve puzzles and... Oh, there we go. Maybe a rock will do it. I am getting cold. I, yeah, I mean, this seems logical, right? Throw a rock at the ice. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, shoot. We gotta use mouses to... Oh. Rotate. Oh, God. Oh, God. Is that open now? Oh no. Oh, I, you guys don't know how much I hate those vertical moves, but that's okay, we're good. I do remember Amnesia taking a good half an hour, 45 minutes before becoming actually scary. So I do expect the same with this game. You know, a good two videos before we actually start to see some scary stuff going on. Alright, so that's open at least. Um, ooh. I don't know where to go next, though. Boxes of... Empty boxes of ammunition. Alright, come on, get out of there. Uh, glow stick. There we go, beautiful. Ooh. 
I'll take your stick, steel rod. Oh, come on, let me grab them. I'm gonna mess this up. Oh, we have something over there, don't we? What do we have here? Flare, beautiful. Uh, flare, yeah. I like flares. There must be something in the way. Alright, alright. No? Ooh, hammer. Sweet. Uh, okay, so I have a hammer. That's kind of nifty. Okay, anything in here interesting? Come on. No, I tend to search and look and see if I can find anything. It does look like there's something there. Look. Get out of there. See? Uh, let's see, which one's my hammer? We're going to put that in number one, I think. Glow stick will be number two. I figure glow stick is probably going to be used quite a lot, I'm going to guess. Oh god. <laughs> I'm moving my mouse to do this. Yay, okay. Let's get rid of that. Beautiful, beautiful, well done. Let's see if there's anything in here we got left. Wait. Yeah, we got two options here. Oh god. <laughs> Getting totally lost. Oh sh. Is this the same spot we were? Doesn't look like it, does it? Oh my god! What the fuck was that? Who's in there? Well, we just got our first scare. <laughs> Crap. Uh, Alright, this is probably the door. Yeah, at the very beginning. What do we have here? Looks like some kind of industrial mechanism, although there's a hole in the center. Uh, I don't know, let's try this steel rod. Beautiful. Look at that. Pro. I'm pro. Oh, I see. Okay. Is this a time thing? Okay, let's go down the scary hole. Beautiful, just fantastic. Uh, we have a barrel. Mm, what a waste, I know. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There could be anything living down here. Okay. If anyone or anything hears me, I'd be best off staying low and out of sight until I know whether or not it's a threat. That's right, I use C for crouch. Okay, why am I hiding? What am I hiding from? Can't. Damn it. Where's my tinder box? I need to be able to look at that. Alright, so what do we got here? We have... You are there, alright? So we've got storage, workshop, explosives. Hmm, that sounds handy. What do we want to look at? I'm not sure. Just, uh, let's go right. Get our glow stick back. Ooh. Pretty boxes. Workshop. God damn it, where's my tinder box? This is not fair. Alright, let's keep moving. Trucking here. Office is that way. Storage room, sweet. I'll bring a rock just for the hell of it. Alright, let's go into the storage room.
Okay, perfect. Ooh, creepy noises. What the hell are those nails? Oh, it seems odd. It's like almost like a safe door. What do we have here? Anemic red. Is it it's paint? I'm not sure why it's anemic. Oh, a lighter was empty. Oh, we have a little hint here. Lighter plus fuel equals... S oh, spiders. Oh, God, I don't like spiders. <sighs> no, no, no. And boots. Um, that one's locked. Locked from the other side. That does, does that mean there's someone still inside? Uh... Wait. That minus that equals that. What? <laughs> what are they talking about? I don't know. I don't like spiders. Come on. I need some fuel, clearly. Oh, I see. Take these out. Um... Come on. Maybe I can move the box or something. Oh, get it up there. There we go. Oh. I just realized something. Oh yeah, there we go. Hi. Get you out of the way here. If uh, <laughs> my experience with amnesia or any hint shit's gonna happen, I'm gonna have to run for my goddamn life. Oh, why do I play these games? They're so freaking scary. Okay, uh, my OCD is kicking in here. Uh, I need to get this out of the way so I can get to that door. Thumbs up if you have OCD yourself for this type of stuff. Uh, oh. Okay, what do we got here? Painkiller is cool. Batteries, yes, that looks like a memory, if I'm not mistaken. Well, let's just shut the door and... Have some privacy with our memory. Uh, yeah, what the hell? WTH. Okay, so that's that. So, open up these. These, these vertical lifts I struggle with. Come on. Alright, we are in a cave with spiders. I don't have any fuel. I have a rock though. I'm gonna throw my goddamn rock. Spider webs, shit. Yeah, what sort of creatures does make these markings? <gasps> That was a big ass spider. Crap, I got three ways to go here. I always seem to have luck going right. Oh my god, oh my god. Horrible sight, luckily it's mummified or else the smell would have been awful. It's still horrifying. What the hell is this place? Alright, so we got a note and we have a flare. Day one. All right. I begin this record still in the hope that great work we have undertaken here might one day be a scientific value. The forecast that today the rescue crews would have arrived, but I can only hypothesize that they would be unaware of my location. Oh God, day six. My first mistake was to make assumptions in the matter of the rescue. Oh no. The second mistake was to make assumptions in the safety of this mine. My third mistake was to act on both those assumptions and going outside. Oh boy. Scientific findings. Alright, so like I said before, go ahead and pause the video and um, dusty old bags if you want to read those notes in more detail. So there's mummified body. Hmm, that's interesting. Steam could blister flesh, eh? Hmm.
another note over here, but before I do that, what's this? If it weren't for the size of the piece, I would say it looked like eggshells. Are you fucking kidding me? That's an egg? Oh my god. What kind of spiders live down here? Day 71. Oh. <laughs> my earliest assumptions on the benign nature of my cellmates may have made may have been made an error. I have no source of light. I swore to myself that I wouldn't leave until I heard human voices outside. The spiders are so tasty. Oh boy. What the hell? Are you serious? Shit. That hurt. Somebody's locked in here nicely. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try the hammer. Oh, I didn't realize I was crouching the whole time. Hit it, hit it. Oh god. There we go. Alright, uh, let's put the hammer away. So you guys are going to have to wait until the next video to find out what we find in here. Thanks for watching, I'm your Gibbs and we're playing Penundrum Overture.